Hello Taurus, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today for Taurus. So we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. But let's focus on you first, Taurus, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Taurus currently view this relationship? Okay. It feels right to take it this way. We have the Ten of Cups. We got the Six of Swords in the reverse. And then we also have the Ten of Swords. I see you revisiting a connection here, Taurus, with somebody that um, you could have had a family with, to be honest. Um, but I see you definitely revisiting a connection here between you um, and somebody that you were once upon a time romantically involved with, regardless of the status, right, of the relationship. You could have been just dating this person or possibly, honestly, in a full-blown committed relationship with them. But I see you revisiting this connection here between you and this person all over again. Yeah. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Six of Cups for them. I feel like they've been waiting. Yeah, I feel like they've been waiting to hear from you, to be completely honest. They've been waiting to hear from you. Yeah, I feel like they've been waiting to hear from you. I do. We have the Six of Cups, and then we also have the Five of Cups. I kind of feel like this person's sad, to be completely honest. They're really, really sad, and they're missing you a whole lot. They're definitely sad and they're missing you a whole lot and they spend a lot of time dwelling on you and what they once upon a time had with you. I don't feel like they're gonna see this coming though. They're not They're not expecting this from you. That That's one thing that I will say. They're definitely not expecting your return. And I feel like it is gonna kind of catch this person off guard just a little bit. You know, the fact that this person has the... Um, <laughs> The Five of Cups to the Four of Cups, that creates an Ace of Cups at play. And, well, the fact that they have the uh, Six of Cups to the Five of Cups, that creates another Ace of Cups at play. I kind of feel like as time goes by, this person is starting to essentially feel like they have no choice but to kind of let this go and move forward and move on with their life and, you know, and start a brand new beginning here for themselves. But I can tell they don't want to. <laughs> they do not want to, man. They do not want to start over. They do not want to start over. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that they're still kind of hung up on you. Let's call a thing a thing today. Like, they're still kind of hung up on you. You're still kind of hung up on them, too. But they're not anticipating or expecting this from you. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're making a return. Now, if it's vice versa, then it's vice versa. Because this could definitely represent somebody making a return in your direction. If you're obviously resonating with this person to the right of me. So just keep that in mind. But they're, they're not anticipating or expecting this. They're not. How does Taurus feel? We have the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Six of Wands. And then we also have the Page of Swords. There we go. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. We also have the King of Swords. I kind of feel like this person really thought that it was over between you and them. They really, really thought it was over here between you and them. And the fact that they're basically hearing from you, it's kind of like the epitome of making somebody stay is the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. And I feel like that goes both ways, to be completely honest. The fact that you guys are, you know, basically getting back to the point where you guys are speaking to one another, I just kind of feel like it's just... It's making your day and it's making their day. You know, one thing that I am kind of getting to primarily from the both of you, because I feel like the two of you haven't seen each other or spoken to one another in quite some time. The fact that the two of you are now, you know, on speaking terms all over again, it, it's kind of like the epitome of picking up where you left off with a person, you know, as if this, this ending never really happened here between you and them, which is really nice to see. Which is really nice to see, Taurus. Really nice. How does this person feel? We got the Six of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. Yep. The 
bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles to the Four of Wands, and then we have the Ace of Wands. The feeling is mutual. The feeling is mutual here. You guys want to get back together. You guys want to start over with one another. That's one thing that I am kind of getting primarily here between you and this person. But there's like an overall energy also too of wanting to do things differently this time around. I'm also kind of getting that. So the way that you guys were handling this relationship in the past, I don't see you guys trying to do that again, right? Because I feel like this ending, it taught the both of you a great deal, right? Um taught you a whole lot it taught them a whole lot you know I kind of feel like there's a lot of things that you guys have to change honestly about yourselves in order to make this brand new beginning here between you and them a successful one this time around to be honest but I see the two of you being on the on the same page here as far as like wanting to get back together wanting to work things out wanting to start over with one another I feel like it's something that the both of you really do want the feeling like I said it's mutual it's not one-sided. It's definitely mutual. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. What actions? We have the Knight of Pentacles. We also have the King of Pentacles. And then we also have the Fool. Okay. What actions? Very nice, though. Very, very nice. What actions? Mm. Uh. Did I speak too freaking soon? We got the Knight of Wands for them. We got the Eight of Pentacles. And then we have the Devil. Yeah, well, I already kind of said that. And then we have the Nine of Swords. I kind of feel like this person's biggest fear is that they don't want things to go back to the way it used to be. Because the way that you guys were going about this relationship in the past, it didn't freaking work out. It didn't freaking work out. It caused a tower moment. It caused an ending here. It caused pain. It caused disappointment. Like, I kind of feel like this person's down to have a new beginning with you, but they just don't want history to repeat itself here anymore. They just don't. And I feel like there's going to be a conversation that happens here between you and this person where they're going to basically express that to you. Like, they're down to work this out. They're down to start over. But they'll be damned, right? If they sign themselves up to get disappointed and let down and hurt and all of this stuff by you again, and then we'll vice versa, right? And I kind of feel like the two of you are definitely in agreement in regards to things needing to be very, very different this time around. Like if you want, if you guys honestly want a successful relationship with one another, it has to be different. It has to be different this time around. Um, I want to look a little bit more into this entire situation just to see what's going to end up happening a little bit further down the line here um, between you and this person. Even though I can see the two of you coming back together uh, very nicely here with one another, I just want to see like you know what's what's going to end up happening here between you and this person um, further down the line. So let's look into that. Let's see. Tell me more about this situation with Taurus and this person to the right of me. I'm really hoping that temperance, I think that this is temperance, but I'm not sure. I really hope temperance came out. Okay, we got temperance, that's nice. Mm. I don't know if I like this though. I really want to focus on this queen's energy a little bit more once I'm done with you because I kind of feel like this is your overall energy. Like, I feel like there's a lot of forgiveness taking place here on your behalf. I do. I feel like there's a lot of forgiveness taking place here on your behalf. Um, and I feel like you're willing to move past like everything that happened here between you and this person in the past. You just really want to focus on getting things back on track basically, right? Uh, between you and this person. I just want to look at this queen's energy though. Because I just want to make sure that we know the both of you are all still on the same page here. Tell me more about this queen's energy, please. Okay, see it comes. So we have the page of cups, got the page of pentacles. Then we got the ace of wands and then we have the moon and then we have the strength card and then we got the ten of wands to the death card to the nine of cups. I'm kind of worried about this Ten of Wands, to be honest, because I feel like this queen 
again, don't get me wrong. They really do want to start a brand new beginning here with you. Like I said, the feeling is definitely mutual in that aspect. As far as like, the two of you wanting to start over with one another is concerned. But I'm concerned about this Ten of Wands because I feel like they're still kind of holding on to things that you've done to them in the past, which kind of makes this, let's just start over with one another, a little bit more challenging and difficult for them. Because they're in this overall energy of like, but what if what if Taurus does this again? What if this happens? And then what if that happens? And like, it has that, that feel to it. Like, they're really hung up on the, but what if? You know, Taurus does this again. What if Taurus does that again? Or what if, you know, things are just going to repeat itself here? Then what? You know, it has that feel. Interesting enough, though, they have the strength card to the Nine of Cups, to the Ace of Wands attached to them, which is a good sign because I feel like they kind of feel really confident within themselves when it comes down to this brand new beginning here that they want with you. It's almost in a sense where they kind of feel like deep down inside, you know, things things can be different here between you and them. But I feel like what's kind of taking them away from this level of confidence that they have in regards to giving you another chance and starting over with you has a lot to do with the, but what if, what if they do this again? Or what if they do that again? Or what if I'm just signing myself up to get disappointed again? Like, it's just the what if this happens and what if that happens? And I feel like they're worried about that. Again, it's it's like deep down inside, they feel pretty damn good about starting over with you, but I feel like what takes them away from this whole them feeling really good about starting over with you has a lot to do with the, but what if this happens and what if that happens and yeah, they're just worried. They're just worried. I want to see what this queen should do. For those of you who are resonating obviously with this queen, I want to see what you should do in regards to this entire situation, okay? What should this queen do? What should this queen do? Let it go. Let it go. We have the Ace of Swords. We got Temperance. We got the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Death card. This is kind of like the Divine's way of giving this queen um, of Pentacles the green light. Okay. The fact that Temperance came out here so many times for your reading is a really good sign. Because it just goes to show that there's hope in this entire situation. But they just got to let it go. They just got to let it go. Okay. And just embrace this brand new beginning here between you and them with confidence with confidence which is something that they are kind of struggling with which we did kind of you know speak about already they just gotta let it go they gotta trust the process here they gotta trust that things are gonna be better here between you and them they gotta trust that things are gonna be different here uh between you and them because i'm kind of getting that from the both of you it's like i feel like this ending forced you to kind of realize where you went wrong and this ending kind of forced them to realize where they went wrong so this time around, it kind of looks like nobody's trying to fuck up at this point. Like, nobody. Not you, not them. You know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, and that's why I say everything in life happens for a reason, right? Because I feel like had it not been for this ending here between you and this person, you guys probably would have been doing the same shit over and over and over and over and over again. Um, and I feel like it took the two of you being apart from one another to, for one, realize that you guys had a good thing with one another and to kind of realize where you guys kind of went wrong here, okay? Because I feel like you kind of went wrong here just a little bit, and I feel like so did they, but I feel like it taught the both of you a great deal. So this time around, nobody's trying to fuck up. Not you, not them. So this new beginning, it, it looks really promising here because I feel like the both of you genuinely do want to establish a brand new beginning here with one another and the two of you genuinely want to do things the right way this time around. I just kind of feel like this queen needs to have a little bit more faith, a little bit more faith in the process here. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.